What's up everybody, it's Danny Reardon and today we are back at Power Strike Gym and today we're training chest. I'm gonna do something a little different today instead of just going about my workout, um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on why I do what I do and what I actually do, what I do and how I do what I do. Um, so maybe I can let you guys in a little bit more on some of my secrets and then it'll help you build your muscles. Today we're training chest and something that's really important to know um, about training chest is that no matter what anyone says, genetics or not, muscle is muscle, you can build it. So let's knock out that limitation right there. The second one is that a lot of people miss training their upper chest, which is that's the aesthetic part that a lot of us are looking for is the, the upper chest. And a lot of times we focus on the middle and lower chest. So really what you wanna do is kind of do a 50-50 split. Focus on both the upper and the lower. And what's really cool about your chest, kind of like your back, it's built in like a fan. And whenever you're kind of shredded, you can see that. It's almost like fingers that go across your chest. And that means that you can do chest press and chest flies in every angle, um, which is why you can go from flat to an incline and still be working on your chest. So keep that in mind um, as you're training, is the lower part is just as effective as the upper part. So make sure you include all of those. And then the, the presses are gonna be your mass builders, and they're just as important as the flies, which are really like the definition builders. And something that's really important when you're training chest is the mind-muscle connection. A lot of times people can't build their chest because they're literally just moving weight. Um, it's something that you'll see that I really focus on when I train chest is the contraction, especially when you're doing something like flies because you have a lot more control and you can actually see your chest um, flex. So it's a little bit easier to know that you're contracting it with your mind to your muscle. So here you go, guys. Chest day. The first thing that we're gonna do is dips. And with these, what you should focus on, everyone should pretty much know how to do a dip, but go a little bit wider. So if you have an assisted one, like flip the flip little things out so you're a little wider and lean forward. Your chest dip is gonna be leaned over this way a little bit more. Okay, incline dumbbell press. These are my favorite. I personally do not like flat barbell bench press. I used to weightlift in high school, I know how to do it, but I really just think that it's injury prone um, and I would rather work with dumbbells personally because I think that I get a better contraction at the top of the movement with dumbbells than I do with a barbell. To each their own though, if you like to do barbell press then do it, just do it safely and be careful of your shoulders. So we're gonna do incline dumbbell press and this is one of those ones where you can actually go a little bit heavier on, so you can keep your rep range around like six, eight, ten, um, and then the flies is kind of where you want to bump up the rep range a little bit. And then we're gonna go into incline dumbbell fly, and I'll probably drop the weight for that one. Um, and this one is one of those ones where you can really, really squeeze it at the top of the motion. Something to remember is to really get a full range of motion and to stretch your chest because if you're more flexible, if you can stretch more, that means that you can contract more, which essentially means that you're going to be building more muscle. So stretching and flexibility is super important when training. So we're gonna bring it back to the presses again. And again, this is a mass builder, so you can, I would encourage you to go a little bit heavier because your chest is a bigger muscle group, so it can take a little bit more um, weight. There's a close grip press that you can do where you, it's like you squeeze them together, you bring it down to your chest, and you kind of pump it like this, and that keeps it really nice and close and like keeps the tension on your chest. And then I think what we're gonna do is finish with pec deck. I think this is like one of the best machines ever invented because it's one of those ones where you can really focus on the contraction. You can use a lot of weight and you can really focus on your form because you're kind of locked into a machine. Um, and then at that one, you can actually really see whenever you're contracting at the top so you can physically see your chest pumping. That's a chest day wrap. Um, one of the first chest days that we've actually done in kind of a while, 
Um, and it felt really good to be kind of training like that again. I feel like I was like getting into it today. Um, and uh, I just want to thank you guys for coming along with us on our workout. And I really hope that I taught you something today. Maybe you can take a little bit away from this video. Um, if anything, maybe just a refresher course. Something I didn't mention actually when I was talking before was kind of the way I work out and the way I do my sets. Um, sometimes I'll do them heavy. Sometimes I'll do them a little lighter. Uh, sometimes I'll focus more on the contraction. Sometimes I'll focus more on the lift. Um, something that I always keep in mind when I lift is I kind of play with the weights. So I know this is like a time to be serious, um, but I actually don't really look at it like that. I look at it very much like I'm playing with my muscles. And I really like that mentality when I train. So it's like, work hard, play hard, kind of in the same rep. And um, I just encourage you guys to have fun when you work out. Play with the weights and enjoy it. But work hard at the same time and work smart. Thank you. Oh shit, I love this song. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Like a monster. This is weird. Hey, little chicky. Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Right here. Sit. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Speak. All right, birdie. Your boo.